Hello everyone. In today's video, we want to discuss the calibration factor or calibration process for the new Lego Spike Prime set wheels. Uh, along with the programming brick of the Spike Prime, Lego has also introduced two new wheels, the small size wheels and then the large size wheels. However, the user may choose to use a wheel of their liking or size. Obviously, larger the wheel, faster the speed. However, the traction is impacted by the size of the wheels as well. So, as we all know, within the LEGO technique, there are multiple wheels available, each with distinct feature. So, depending upon the application, user may choose wheels of different sizes. Therefore, it is extremely important for the user to determine the calibration factor. We would like to mention that after prolonged usage, the spike prime wheels may wear and the effective diameter can change. Therefore, it is extremely important to calibrate even those wheels for a very accurate navigation. So calibration factor, as we all know, is the total distance covered by the robot in one full rotation of its driving wheels. For the calibration, as you see on the left hand side, in Mindstorm, we write a block for single rotation of the wheels or 360 degree turn of the wheels. Correspondingly, as you can see on the right hand side, in a spike prime, we specify the ports of our choice, the speed, and set the robot to move a straight one rotation of the wheel or 360 degree spin of the wheels. Then we measure the total distance covered. Once the distance is calculated, we may enter the calibration factor. So the calibration factor provided for the spike prime wheels is 17.5 cm for the small wheels and 27.6 cm for the large wheels. But you may enter the correct value depending upon wheel of your choice or in case the diameter of the wheel is modified due to wear in the wheels. Hope you find this video useful. For more tutorials and other freebies, subscribe to World Robotics League. Thank you.